that in a way. While we were waiting for them to use the bathroom and comb their hair and be dressed and ready for their gameplay, they were really chatting it up and first heal on top of that. So LGD want to make sure their early attack. game goes pretty well. They get some early gold to maybe fight that kind of a mid-game aggression and they're going to go for an early T1 tower. They've already got the bathroom on Siler and this T1 tower not being defended at bottom. Uh-oh, they go back for maybe oh. as well as the DDC flies in and they're able to get the quick snag right there. There's your first blood. It goes towards in flame and now at the same moment, though, LGD are just happy to keep pressure here. And, uh-oh, RTK gets caught with a stun. He goes down just quickly. Not even able yeah. to get the surge off and run away. Just Silar just chomps him to bits. Oh, Lan maybe in some trouble. Gets out of range just barely of the Light Striker. Oh, wait. He's not looking to go too deep for that one. And it just looks like it's now LGD who are getting the most out of this early game. And uh, it's well, a lot RTK. of pressure here on Ehome. Uh -oh. RTK may get caught out here. There's Lena running at him. Oh. L to it, Shadow Fiend, maybe caught out. There's your there's your Wisp relocated, and they'll bring down the Shadow Fiend with it. Getting low attack. does your DDC Wisp, but seems like with the bottle heals, they will be okay. Uh -oh. Oh, walking in at four. Don't know about that one. Oof. The director that was, did not have a plan. That was what I call a facial. Just walks down the hill and gets welcomed with an immediate hammer to the face. And, well, they still run and look to turn the corner here, and it looks like they are able to get the quick pick onto land. Between the two teams, apart from him, Sven, attack. Queen of Pain, these heroes are on track. It's just Silo, I mean, doing Silo things. This is what this guy does. In flame, waiting behind. And meanwhile, I hear a Laguna fly out in a DDC as they might get Zhao Wei down here. He pops off the wand, but oh, they can't get close enough to go for the spirits. They know that trouble's coming in from the north, but they're still looking to fight as they set up a sonic wave from behind. That invis in flame able to get in pretty good position here. And now it's just kind of everyone all over the place running around with their like heads cut off but now they're able to make a move in flame able to blink away though here we go oh caught with a big echo slam zyf just locked in place and that's why he needs that bkp he's not able to get anything done now siler on the run and whoa in flame eating a lot of damage he can't get away his blink's already been used and he will go down and oh, it's just taken to the neutral it. creep okay <laughs> well convenient right there the little flying bats are able to okay, ready to go they got necker three up they're gonna force the high ground here and there's a glyph available but you have got to get back in defense. Sven is BKB, and this is it. This Sven has to get something done with this defense. Yeah, RTK still out, though, for 15 seconds before we get that big wall. There's going to be the swap back. Maybe could be in trouble, but he gets healed up. That's the mech. Echo Slam flies through. Lamb going to be brought down. Sonic Wave flies on through. Immediate double kill. Sven! Let me show you how strong I am as he's able to muscle on four, but then ah. it's just a Laguna play to his face. <laughs> as you say oh, that. <laughs> as I say that, the caster curse very much real here. And play in recent games, and for this one, though, it's been a bit shaky so far. Hopefully yep. he kind of shakes it off and will come back and land out those big vacuum wall setups for his team. But all the meanwhile, LGD, they just get a very easy run before, so they can be a big factor, and they just keep moving in. Necrobook is out, and here's the pressure onto the rack suddenly. We're not even 20 minutes into this game it looks like e-home it's on them to make big here and the racks goes down zyf he's waiting they will pop out a little bit of the passive stun to fly but the racks goes down and e-home can't do anything they'll eat a fissure for the situation Let's see if they can get it though. Suddenly they popped. Maybe scouts it out. Pops his BKB, however, so the stun not going to happen. A swap back to save him from the Requiem, and now his BKB is going to be about over. Silar goes right for the Wisp here to get him down, and the stun will connect. He does get stunned himself. They end up taking down the Wisp. The wall is there, but it's not going to be connecting with a whole lot. Yule's up now on the Sven, and he'll be followed up with a whole lot of hate as there's going to be the stun and the Laguna, and this Unlike could be a. Lived. Pretty quick game, too. And, yeah, somehow, yeah. some way, Siler finds himself out of trouble, and he's going to be A-OK. -okay. And yep. now it's bottom lane that's in trouble, and Sven's out for almost a minute without a buyback. Looks like we could be going to a 1-1 series here, gods, oh, as yeah. the Raxes are slowly game to fall. Too. This is... This is your Silo Lycan in action. This guy is just, I, I really think maybe the best Lycan player there is. Him and Lua, to me, like the two best Lycan players out there. And Silo just highlighting it here with an impressive performance. And they're up two lanes of racks. Ehom can't turn this one around. Sven, it's not, this with Sven duo is nice and all, but it just feels like a bit too specific and doesn't really fit the current metagame. I'm not sure if there was a better pick with that last pick. You mentioned the Chaos Line I think could have been good. I think even the standard Juggernaut would have just been a lot more stable and consistent. Yeah, it's not really an amazing Wisp partner, but 
it doesn't get kited. It can actually fight into these heroes with an Omni Slash. I think it would have just been a better overall pick. Oop, in flame. Okay, wow. he blinks to catch up and hopefully get someone down, but he's the one that ends up falling, and Lanham's like, we're done. Okay, it's obvious yep. we're not going to be coming back from this one. We've lost two sets of racks. We continue to lose even more, and we're just going to hope to just kind of keep our heads up and fight right back. But it's LGD who looked damn sharp on the back of Silar and his Lycan. They make quick work. Very quick work here. V-Home, and we have an even series on our hands. One to one, as we'll get rolling in the game number three of this best of five series. Good stuff yeah, so far, though. Looking a bit shaky for LGD with that game one loss, and I was like, wow, they came through the winning bracket.